extremely stressed. I live on my own. I'm a single person and I have my own home. But that sounds like it's all great. But at the end of the day, I also have a lot to lose. The bigger places. Susan loves living in this corner of County Durham, but it's hard. I am extremely worried. And not only that, we don't have supermarkets. We only have one small shop. We have only one cash machine that you don't have to pay for to use. But then people have to get out of the village to go and get a shop, a big shop. All this has an impact on how you get out and how you get back into the village. It is wrong. Cowden is a left behind neighborhood. A deprived community that can't catch up. A place where getting a job or even a bus is difficult. And when you do catch one, it's not cheap. It's 15, 20 minute walk on top of the travel to get to work, which is a five, just over a five minute journey in the car. But it's, and that, that costs two pounds on this bus, this and you have to get another one as well. On top. So how much is that a day? It, just under eight pounds a day. Yes, please. Yes, please. How are you, Boo? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Lunch for the locals, but it's also a lifeline. This is the only meeting place they have in Eldon, another feature of a left behind neighbourhood. We have an excellent building and we just need them to put more money into it. So we take youngsters who have very few formal qualifications and we can give them in house training here in catering, administration. IT services. This community has its own solutions. And one charity says they could be so much stronger if they just had the right support. What left behind neighbourhoods are lacking is perhaps the density of that, of community activity. They're lacking places to meet, they're lacking organisations to bring people together. And when you look at the statistics over the last 10 years, you can see that that makes a real difference. And it made a real difference to Connor and his mum. A community-led charity paid for his driving lessons and test. It broadens my horizon of where I can find a job. You know, if I was looking, it would just be in Bishop. But now I can look down in Newton Aircliffe. So it's broadened the horizon for me to be able to, be able to go out and get a job. Being able to drive also means he can visit his dad's grave. Can I move these over like that and then you put them ones on that? A community coming together to help those in need. I didn't know there was people who did things like that. Not for people like us, you know, ordinary people. I thought it was just for, like, better people, you know, that, that had a bit of something that could do some things for themselves. A few streets away, Susan arrives at work. Hi. 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 Her job is to yeah. find volunteers to improve life in the local community. To come out of their front doors and see what they need, know what their children need, know what their elderly need in the community. Why can they not make the decisions on their own lives? One woman's solution to surviving the cost of living crisis in this left behind neighborhood. The government says it's giving more power to local leaders in the northeast and is investing £900 million to regenerate its town centres. Fiona Trott, BBC News, County Durham.